Good morning, Tennessee High School. Today is Tuesday, October 6th. I'm Finn. And I'm Michaela, and you're watching Viking News. There will be an Italy trip meeting this Thursday, October 8th, after school at 5.30 in the wellness rooms. This week is homecoming week. In celebration, we will be having dress-up days all this week. They are as follows. Today, Tacky Taurus. Way Back Wednesday, Throwdown Thursday, and Friday is Maroon and White Day. All dress-up days must be in dress code. This week is homecoming. For freshman court, we would like to congratulate the following. Emily Ford and Titus Brooks, Hannah Hawk and Graham Styoffi, Sarah Lambert and Naive Herrera, and Ellie Vance and Dylan Penley. Sophomore homecoming court includes Haley Hatcher and Betty Baker, Bailey Hauser and Dawson Busby, Sydney Engel and Dutch Fleener, and Skylar Wilson and Clark Wilson. Senior court is as follows. Olivia Fox and James Carnell, Chanda Humphreys and Bryson Henley, Allison Looney and Skylar Leonard, Katie Potter and Ty Myers and Jordan Barr. Senior court includes Charlie Brooks and Ryan Cooper, Tori Good and Ryan Fleener, Caroline Leonard and Ryan Little, Jordan Scott and Sir Chef, Amanda Vinsell and Peyton Vance. Congratulations to everyone who made homecoming court. Student Council is sponsoring a homecoming fall festival on Friday, October 9th from 3 to 6 p.m. in the Southside parking lot. There will be free hot dogs, music, dunk tank, pie throwing, and games. Greetings to Mr. Sergio Sanchez's class in Vinaro, Spain. Mr. Sanchez is a former exchange student and now teaches in Spain. Ms. Williams' first period class will be partnering with his English class so that they can practice writing in English and students at THS can practice writing in Spanish. Club photos and junior court photos will be taken on Thursday, October 22nd. Club sponsor and purchased a yearbook page. Please have your officers chosen by October 22nd. The 2016 Tennessee Governor's School applications are now available and can be accessed online. The Tennessee Governor's Schools include 12 summer programs for gifted and talented rising 11th and 12th grade students. Applications should be submitted by counselors on behalf of student prior to the stated deadline. Please see Mrs. Skeens to submit your applications. The practice SAT or the PSAT will be given at THS on Wednesday, October 28th. Any junior interested in taking this college interest exam must bring $15 to the counseling office as soon as possible. The PSAT is also a qualifying test that students must take to enter the National Merit Scholarship Corporation Completion for College Scholarships. Students qualify when they take the test their junior year, but sophomores are also encouraged to take the test as practice for next year. The exam will be given first and second period in the band room that day. If you need volunteer hours, the LEAP program operates in all five elementary schools and Vance Middle School from 3 to 5.30, Monday through Friday. If you are interested, call 534-6673. Here's Andrew and Jarrett with your weather forecast. Here's Jarrett and Andrew for your weather forecast. Today is a high of 79 degrees, 0% chance of rain. Tonight, low of 53, 0% chance of rain. Tomorrow is a high of 78, 0% chance of rain. I'm back to the studio for your cafe watch. Hey, Dad. Sports news, volleyball will be in the district tournament at Davy Crockett at 6.30. Girls soccer will play at Boone at 5.30. The cross country team will be at the A6 Invitational Cross Country Meet in Atlanta, Georgia on October 10th. The homecoming game is this Friday at 7.30. Come out and support your Vikes. In local news, renovations start today on the Bristol Public Library in Virginia. Burwell Construction started the $475,000 project and will continue for the coming months. The renovations will include a new teen section and the relocation of the adult learning materials. In national news, a black tip shark bit a teenager at a Florida beach on Sunday. The 14-year-old boy was surfing with four friends when he encountered the four or five foot black tip shark. The shark bit him on the left hand and he managed to punch it away. He paddled back to shore with a few lacerations. That's all for Viking News. Have a terrific Tuesday. Go. Hey,